hey guys welcome to my channel flow or says kitchen if this is your first time this is flow or say kitchen this is where you get all authentic african food it doesn't matter what the country it doesn't matter where you are from it's all african food so guys first i want to say happy 2023 and i haven't been posting for so long but this time i have come to stay so this time i'll try to post as much as i can i'll try to share all the recipe answer all your question everything for you guys this time probably i'll spend more time on youtube as i did the past again i want to say thank you for all my subscribers thank you for all my followers if you follow me uh, on Instagram, thank you. If you follow me on YouTube, thank you. If you follow me on uh, TikTok, thank you. Again, if you are not following me, you can actually go and subscribe. I mean, follow me on YouTube. My name again, Flo Osei's Kitchen on Flo Osei's Kitchen on YouTube here already. And on TikTok, Flo Osei's Kitchen again. And Flo Osei's Kitchen uh, on instagram and facebook i just use my personal name which is florencia marquilasa Ose. so you can follow me there but once you follow me on one of the social media it should take you to the rest of the social media so i just want to say thank you and i'll be showing you guys how my day goes as far as today i'll be making uh tanzanian half cakes for customer again and again if you want to order any food from me do not hesitate to contact me through all my social media you could uh message me inbox or dm whatever they call so just dm me tell me where you live and uh you can order whatever you want to order from me for outside uh illinois i am so sorry i am i don't ship my food over there i just so i am um, stick to illinois so if you're in illinois we can make a way how you're gonna pick up your food so again come along thank you for subscribing if you are first time here just make sure you subscribe so i will be taking you guys along on my day today and how i make these orders uh again thank you for watching flo osei kitchen and yeah come along so guys these are my ingredients for half cakes today so i will try to show you guys one by one so you know exactly what i use for half cakes so again i mentioned before i'm making a lot of half cakes so that's the reason why you see it's a lot of flour it's a lot of eggs and it's a lot of everything so the first thing i will show you what i use i use this all-purpose flour for my half cakes the second thing you're gonna need it's milk whole milk but some people use water it's okay as well but i like very tasty so i use whole milk and then yeast i bought this kind of yeast but there's a, some yeast in a container you can also bite those are good but because i'm making for customers so i prefer using this because it's just single use and then next time i i need a buy again so salt of course i'll use some of the salt uh i have butter you can use for my african people you can use blue band or anything but butter this kind i prefer this kind because they come a single it's a single butter so i use this one and then you got eggs as well i'm gonna be using eggs uh cooking oil you can use any kind of cooking oil i prefer this one and then you have sugar this is your sugar i'm gonna be using sugar as well you need baking soda and then baking powder and then cinnamon so i'll be using all of this if you just stay along with me then I'll be showing you how I'll be putting one by one. But it's a lot of half cakes, so I'll be making probably one bag at a time. Because my mixer, I have a small mixer which can mix everything at once. So again, yeah, come on. What you're going to do first, you want to pour your hot oil in the flour. Not much, a little bit. 
go ahead and mix it. So what I'll, I'll do now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the stuff. So again, this already have oil, hot oil. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put egg, two egg, sugar, the rest it doesn't matter. Sugar, uh, a little bit of cinnamon, A little bit and then baking powder and baking soda so this is baking powder is this the only one I have this is the baking powder I'll go ahead and put like two and then that's baking powder and then this is baking soda so i never know how to open this let's say press here so the baking soda probably one or a little bit it's not much just one tablespoon and then salt gonna add salt as well so we'll add a little bit more and I'm gonna add sugar because sugar was not much your butter yes, butter so thumb um, uh, I'm gonna cut butter and then I'll mix everything together without forgetting your yeast that's a yeast I need a scissor for then I'll mix everything together. So it should be good. That's my yeast. So I'll probably put two. Because it's not much, so I'll put two. Now I will attach this. Now I'll let everything mix it together before I add milk. So let it mix. And put, now I'm gonna go ahead and put milk. Then I'll mix. So now the dough is ready. You can see everything is done. I did multiple times. So now I'm gonna put, I'll start cutting them. So now I'll start cutting few by few ready to fry here i must sprinkle a little flour on a countertop this is where i'm gonna sit them and I mean, the next thing you're gonna go and cut it so the what i do this i'm gonna separate put away because i want it to be in a really shape so cut the back a little bit this way this way and that way so Mm -hmm. 
So this is how we cut it. We cut it half, 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 and then you arrange it. I don't need to do any food. So now I'm going to put it, you don't want your oil too hot, you want to see how they're going to do at the beginning first. As you can see guys, see they are cooking, they are breaking, you want to achieve this, you see this, see this, you see this, that's how they look inside.